Today we're in San Luis Obispo County. We're at Shandon Elementary School, and today we're here to... Yeah! All right, today we're at Shandon School, and I've got fifth grade student Imelda. You ready to go? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and you can grab a marker. And here's the problem. So, you're going to eat one and a half pizzas every day during the school week, except for Thursday. So, let's go ahead and figure out what we've got here. You're gonna eat one and a half pizzas every day mm -hmm. during the school week. How many days are there in the school week? Five. Okay, except Thursday. So how many days are you gonna be eating one and a half pizzas? Four. Okay, so I guess we'll put it four, we'll just put it right there, all right? So this is pizzas and this is days. Now the problem is we wanna know how many pizzas you'll eat during the school week. So how do you wanna solve this problem? Um, by subtracting. Well, we could subtract, right? But if you eat one and a half pizzas today, and you eat one and a half pizzas tomorrow, how are we gonna know how many you add? You ate all together? By adding. By adding them, right? Okay. And if you ate one and a half pizzas the next day, what do we need to do to that? Add. Keep adding it, right? If I say you're gonna eat one and a half pizzas for the next 180 days, are we gonna add one and a half 180 times? Yes. Is there an easier way to do it? By multiplying. By multiplying, right? So we could do this and add it four times, or we could multiply the two numbers. So, which way would you like to do it? By multiplying. Okay. So how would you like to do this? Mm. And then we multiply one times four. Okay, so you can go one times four. That equals four. Okay. And then two times four, that equals eight. So what are you gonna do with that then? We're gonna put it up over here for the, because we're gonna multiply this one and this one. We could, but there might be an easier way to do this. So let's try this. If we go, one and a, can we turn that into a mixed number? Uh, yes. How do you do that? Do you know how to do that? So we're going to multiply this. Two times one is what? Two. And then we're going to add the numerator. So two times one is two plus one is? It's three. So three over two is the same as one and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to multiply that by four. Now if I put four over one, is that the same as four? What's four divided by one? Four. Four. So it's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So this way we can just multiply straight across with the fractions like that. All right? So let's go ahead and multiply straight across. Three times four is twelve. Okay. And two times four equals two. Good. So we still have our fraction line there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what is twelve divided by two? Six. Okay. So we can simplify that and that's going to equal... Six, six, right? Because 12 divided by 2 is 6. So now think about it for a second. If you eat one pizza for four days, how many pizzas did you eat? Four. Six, four. Well, you eat one pizza a day, uh, right? Uh -huh. And you do it for four days, you're going to eat four. Okay, now think about this. Okay, so the one is going to give us four pizzas. Now you're only going to eat a half a pizza today and tomorrow you eat a half a pizza. How much is that all together? One. One, right? But that only took care of two days, right? So we have two more days to do. So you eat a half a pizza. The other day. And then another half, and what do you eat? Another day. And all together, what do those two halves make? Two. One. What? Well, right, okay, so you've got one more, but those made two, right? So the four plus the two give you? Five. Six. There you go. Four plus the one is five, plus the other one is six. So if you eat one and a half pizzas every day for four days, how many pizzas will you eat? Four. 
Well, yeah. Four days. Six. So six pizzas. Kind of makes sense a little bit? Yeah. Because if you eat a whole pizza, you're going to have four. And the half pizzas together for four days are going to be two more. So that's why you've got six pizzas. There you go, Imelda. Nicely done. <laughs>